guys, welcome back to Yelena App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Zoho Real Estate CRM tutorial. How do you start using Zoho CRM? So, if you're interested, let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Zoho here for specifically for real estate. Well, the thing with Zoho here is uh, Zoho is a platform that allows you to build different tools. So when we go to official website here for Zoho, which is Zoho.com here, we have the following apps. We have CRM, Desk, Mail, Books, and Analytics. But the thing here is we need to focus on CRM. Now, on the CRM website for Zoho, we now need to visit the appropriate solution for us, which is going to be real estate. So at the top right here, you want to go to Solutions and you want to look for real estate, go ahead and click on it. Now, on the official web page here or the actual page for real estate uh, CRM software for Zoho, you should be able to see different information here. So that includes uh, why choose here a Zoho CRM here and for your real estate business. Now, in this case, uh, there are going to be some companies that actually trust Zoho CRM here if you want to view them or uh, basically uh, see who trusts uh, Zoho CRM. But yeah, so in this case, I'm going to describe what are the things that you can do here within the Zoho CRM uh, platform. Now, by the way, if you're wondering if Zoho CRM is free here, if you click on the pricing page here, you should be able to see the current pricing for Zoho CRM. Now, uh, you could get the plan for standard here, which is around 22 Australian dollars in my case, since I'm in Australia. So you could get it for like 22 Australian dollars, which is billed monthly per user. So this is the current uh, starter plan, but you can also get the professional enterprise or ultimate plans here. And in this case, you'll have additional plans or features that you could get. Uh, for example, for the professional, it adds like blueprint, CPQ, sales signals, inventory management, webhooks, and a lot more. Now, the great thing about Zoho CRM here is it actually allows you to create or in this case, use their free trial if you want to first try out their services before committing to the actual uh, platform or software. Now in this case, it's going to click on start free trial. Now from here, we need to sign up, which in this case, you could go and do this manually by providing your full name, uh, providing your work email, password, and a phone number. Now you could also use your Google account or your LinkedIn account here in order for you to create your account. Now, by the way, if you have specific needs, you could also reach out to them to the following numbers here or reach them out on the following email address. If you, again, if you need further assistance or special assistance. So for now, let's go and click on sign up with Google here. And from here, let's go and choose our Google account. Now, in this case, once you've cre uh, created your account here or once you've uh, allowed your Google account access, you can now choose your time zone. But for now, let's go and click on remind me later here since you want to update this later on. And in this case, you should be able to see the welcome page for Zoho CRM. In this case, you can provide your company name here and your phone number as well. So in this case, go ahead and provide those details. Now, by the way, I've also added some sample data here so that we'll be able to fully utilize or see how to start using Zoho CRM. So in this case, the first thing that you notice here is we, current, we are currently in the homepage, which in this case, from the name itself, homepage actually contains the general information or the quick information that you might want to see for your account or your current uh, uh, company. Which in this case, if you want to uh, basically see different views here, like we have the classic views, you have your current view, you have the manager's view. Now, if you want to customize your homepage here, you can go and click customize homepage and basically you can add or create new homepages. Now, if you want to manage your homepage, you go and click on the three dot icon here and you can basically customize them further. Now, in this case, in the customize option here, this allows you to uh, basically choose dashboards. Uh, you could even choose custom views here. And yeah, so if you want to add like specific uh, information like leads here, like uh, for example, I want to add like all leads, it should be added in here. Now, by the way, you can move this around. As you can see, there are grids that you can move your information. So depending on what you want to see, you can basically arrange it as much as you can here. Now, if you want to save this one, just click on save. And basically, once you are in here and go back to home here, this actually allows you to view. So when you go to manager's homepage here, this is what it's going to look like. And now we have this current view. So this is a great way for you to keep uh, to be rapidly uh, be updated on certain information that you might want to see immediately. So if you want to get up to date information, go to homepage. Now, in this case, when you go to leads here, this actually allows you 
to keep track and add leads, which in this case, this allows you to uh, basically uh, have like potential customers in the future. So if you want to create a new lead, you can go and click on create lead at the top right here and basically fill out all the information that you need. Now you can even add images if you want to. Now, contacts here allows you to start managing your contacts. Now, in this case, you can click on create contact here to create one. Now, if you want to import contacts, you go and click on the drop, the drop down button here and even import notes. Now, if you want to edit a specific item here, now, by the way, this is the same thing with leads. You can go and click on the three dot option here and you can go and click on edit, even send email, create tasks for this specific uh, contact, add tags, lead, or even more like create call or create meeting. Now, by the way, if you click one of the contacts that we have here, so we have different information that we could view here. So one of them is going to be the following option here for our, uh, in this case, adding reporting contacts. Uh, we have socials. If you want to add their socials, campaigns, emails. So any information that you need to add, you need to be adding here. This is your uh, this is where you will be able to add them. Now, also, if we, there are going to be some tasks that is related to that specific customer uh, or contact, you should be able to see it in here. Like for example, this specific account or uh, contact has the following tasks: like register for upcoming CRM web uh, CRM, CRM webinars. So the thing with the CRM uh, account here, this actually allows you to view interrelated information. Like for example, again, if a contact has a uh, uh, task. If an account has task or in this case, any information that you might want to see. Now let's go ahead and go to accounts. Now, same thing with leads and uh, contacts. This actually allows you to create your con uh, your account. Now you can import accounts, import nodes as well. Now, if you want to delete specific uh, accounts, you can go ahead and use the action options here. We have the mass delete, mass update, manage tags, export accounts, and a lot more. Now, by the way, adding tags here is a great way for you to start managing your, uh, in this case, uh, account or information that you have. Let's go ahead and select one of this one. So same thing in here, you have the option to add or edit different information. So we have our deals, uh, details, uh, address information, notes, attachments, deals, and in this case, related contacts as well. Now, same thing, it has like task. Now, next, let's go to deals. Now, deals actually allows you to manage your deals here. Now, the great thing about the uh, look here for deals, it, it is actually in a Kanban format, which in this case, you can organize them. Like, for example, uh, if you want to add them in qualifications, if you uh, analysis needed, value propositions, identify decision makers, and yeah. So in this case, you could also manage them by pressing and holding on them and dragging it in that specific column and basically updating their current uh, status. Now, if you click one of them here, just give you the idea here, it should give you the specific details about it. Now, as you can see, we have the time of uh, the start and the finish uh, section here. So in this case, we have qualifications, needs analysis, like what we saw before. Now, the great thing about the CRM tool here for deals is it actually allows you to uh, see where you're, you are currently in what stage right now. Now, task for me itself allows you to manage your task. Same thing, it's in a Kanban format. By the way, if you're not used to do the Kanban format, go and click on the view here and you view them in this view if you want. But in, in my case, I like using Kanban format here. It makes it a lot easier for me because I have a visual representation where current certain task is currently as of right now. Now, if you choose meetings here, this allows you to uh, manage your meetings, like for example, um, webinars, trade show, uh, seminars here. And calls here allows you to start managing uh, your upcoming calls. Or you can, you can even create calls here if you want or even just log a call. And we have reports here, which in this case gives you different information about specific topics. Like for example, we have vendors versus purchases, top 10 users, top 10 templates by open rate. So if you want to view them, just click on the specific information here and it'll actually give you that specific information. But in some cases, some reports might not be available. So in this case, since we're just using the standard trial here, we won't be able to exactly view that. Now, analytics here gives you an idea how things are currently at. So in this case, it's a great for you to see or to see what your performance is. Like for example, if your revenue has been up or going up in, a, in, the, in the following month, now you have your leads, your account this month. So in this case, basically it gives you a, a very short analysis. So or you have the organ, uh, organization overview, lead analysis, uh, analytics, 
deal insights, marketing metrics, and activity stats. Now, if you want to create campaigns, you go ahead and click on campaigns here and basically start your own campaigns. Now, if you want to view your documents, you go to documents here, or you can even create folders or start managing your files or any documents that you might want to start using within the CRM tool. Now, we also have forecast here, which allows you to do one of the uh, one of the followings here. We have the forecast your sales. So in this case, you can set sales target, track your achievements, and even predict and analyze your sales. Now, you also have the visit section here, which allows you to basically identify and track who actually visited uh, the, uh, the Zoho CRM here, which in this case, if you want to get started here, you can go and click on get started. Now, if you want to view your projects, you go to projects here and basically get started on adding your projects but yeah so obviously there are going there are going to be a lot of tools like use here on the source here man but we just want to discuss here the beginner uh, or in this case the basics to get you started using the platform but in this case that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup thank you for watching